Well, hey there, kiddos. Here is the introduction to your line project. We are going to do this triangle example so that you can see what how it's supposed to go. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to create a picture of your own that can be drawn with all straight lines, and then you're going to create the equations of those lines, and you're going to program them into a pro, uh, computer program and have it draw your picture for you. So I'm going to sort of introduce you that today. So we're going to do this triangle and this vertical line. So the first thing we have to do is write the equations of the line. So we're going to start with line AB here. And to write the equation of the line, we need the slope and the y-intercept. So I'm going to start with the y-intercept because I can see it. It's right here at 5. And so if I'm going to use slope-intercept form, I know that's y equals mx plus b. And so I'm going to have a plus 5 hanging out at the end. And then if I find two pretty points on my graph, I can do my rise over my run here. And so I can count and see that my slope is 3 over 2. And so my equation is going to be 3 over 2x plus 5. Now this part of the table says domain because I'm going to have to restrict the domain when I put this information into the computer program so that it will only draw the portion of the line I want. Otherwise, it's going to draw a line that goes on forever and your picture is going to look all weird. So we've got to restrict the domain. So we're going to go from the left to the right and we're doing just domain so it's just x values. So the x value for this one here is at negative 4. And the x value up here at the y-intercept is at 0. And so our domain is all numbers between negative 4 and 0. And this is how we are going to write it. Negative 4 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 0. So let's do from there. Let's go ahead and do line BC. So it's this one that is decreasing. It has the same y-intercept as, as AB. So it's also going to be plus 5, but this has a negative slope. It's going down. So when I find my other pretty point here and I do my rise over my run, this one's going to be negative 3 over 2 because it's decreasing. So now here's my equation for that line. And so we're going to do our domain from the left point to the right point. So on the left, it starts over here at 0. And on the right, it ends over here at 6. So let's do this horizontal line AC down here at the bottom. Let's scroll a little so you can see. So we're going to do line AC at the bottom. And it's a horizontal line, which means if you remember our two acronyms, we had HOI and we had VUX. Horizontal lines are HOI because they are horizontal with zero slope and the equation is Y equals. So I'm going to write Y equals and then look. If I look at every single point on this line, any point you want to, the y value for all of them is negative 1, 2, 3, 4. So my equation is y equals negative 4. And that's all I have to put. There's no x value because the slope was 0. And so it was 0x. And so there's no point in putting that. And so I just write my y value and I'm done. Now my domain from the left to the right, it starts over here at negative 6 which by the way is what I think this number should be. I don't think that should be a negative four. I think that's a negative six. And it goes all the way over here to positive six. And so now we have one last line. We have to do line J, which is that vertical line that's right there. And if you remember with VUX, vertical lines have undefined slope and so the equation is x equals. So if we look at our vertical line, right here it crosses the x-axis where x equals two. So the equation is just x equals 2. Now because we're doing a vertical line, the domain is just x equals 2 because it doesn't go left or right at all. So when we actually do this one, we're going to establish the range. Vertical lines will always be a range, not a domain. And so we'll go from bottom to top. And so at the bottom, it looks like that graph starts at negative 3. And this time it's a y value because we're doing range. And it ends up here at the top at 5. And so it goes all the way from negative 3 to 5. So here are my equations. And now I'm going to introduce you to the website that we're going to use and show you how to type in these equations to draw. So on your computer, I want you to go to a website called desmos.com. It's right here in my um, search bar so that you can see it. Once you get there, this is what it looks like. So I'll give you just a second to get there, and then we'll move on. So it should come up like this. You want to tell it, push this big red button and tell it to launch the calculator. And so it's going to come up and it's going to have this kind of a screen. And so here's your keypad down here for everything we're going to type in. This is where our equations will show up. 
This is how we zoom in and zoom out, and there are some other tools, and we'll deal with those in just a minute. But we're going to start with our first equation, which was y equals 3 halves x plus 5. So I'm going to start with y equals... And to do 3 over 2, I'm going to do 3 divided by 2, and it's automatically going to make it a fraction. But then I'm going to have to push this right arrow so that I cannot be in the fraction anymore. I'm going to have x plus 5. And you see, without domain restrictions, it draws this big long line. Well, I'm going to have to put domain restrictions. And to do domain restrictions, I have to hit the button that says ABC down here, and I've got to use these little squiggly brackets that are down here. So I'm going to open a squiggly bracket, and you see it opens them up for me, and then I'm going to type in my numbers. And so my domain for this was negative 6 to 0. So I'm going to go negative 6, and then I have my less than or equal to sign and my x, and then it was less than or equal to 0. And so now you can see there's that line for my triangle, and it did cut it off, and it just went from negative 6 to 0 and doesn't draw the whole thing. So we'll go back into here. We're going to add an equation, so we'll do a new one. So our next one was y equals negative 3 halves x plus 5. So I'm going to do a negative 3 divided by 2, arrow out of that fraction, x plus 5. And I'm going to have to set my domain restriction, so ABC, and we'll put the little squiggly. And this one went from 0 to 6, so I'm going to go 0, less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 6. And so there's the rest of my triangle, the other side. And so now we're going to do, I'm just going to hit enter to make a new function. We're going to do our bottom line, which was y equals negative 4. So if y is equal to negative 4. And you can't see it because it's down underneath my um, keyboard, but we'll bring it up in just a minute. And we've got to set our domain. So we'll go back here, squiggly brackets. And it goes from negative 6 to positive 6. And so now if I move my keyboard, you can see I've made my triangle. So let's do the vertical line. So we can get that one on there too. And so the vertical line was x equals, and it was x equals 2. And then we had to set our restriction. And it's going to understand when I put the y in there that it's range and not domain. And so my range restriction, it looks like, was from negative 3 to 5. So I'm going to go negative 3 less than or equal to, but this time I put a y less than or equal to 5. And so you should be able to see when I move my keyboard that here's the triangle and here is the line that we drew. And we can play with this and mess with this and change the colors. You see it drew every line in a different color. That's just the way it was set up. The great thing about this website, this Desmos, is that once you get it all in, there are options you're going to have to shade if you want to color something in, a, a certain color or whatever. There are options in here. You're going to be able to sign in with your g.rasd account so that you can work on it in class and then you can go home and still access it and you'll still be able to get to what you were working on in class and you'll be able to share it with me from there so that I can print it for you so you can complete your assignment. Um, that is all that there is to do. If you want to play around with Desmos a little more and find some things out, maybe teach us all some stuff tomorrow, that would be great. But that's the triangle example. There it is in Desmos. And so tomorrow you're going to begin um, by thinking about what it is you want to draw, creating your drawing, and beginning to write your equations of your lines. Um, that's the most important part. You have to have the equations of your lines, otherwise this part doesn't work. The other thing is, go ahead and before you come to school tomorrow, check and make sure you can log into your g.rasd account. And if you can't, I need to know that first thing so that I can get your password reset so we can make that work for you. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good rest of your day.